Hi, Scorpio. It's me, Alex. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm here to bring you your second weekly tarot reading. Um, for those of you who are not familiar, I uh, release Scorpio readings on Tuesdays at midnight and Fridays at midnight. Um, anything outside of that schedule is considered a bonus. Y'all run my channel, so you y'all y'all know I love me some Scorpio. Um, what in the Moses is going on here? I feel like some of you guys are cramped. That was the word. I tried to start the video before, but I couldn't get the word cramped. It feels like you're stuck or fixated, um, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Let's see what the universe has to say about it. Mm, page of Cups. Okay. Loving messages and information. Four of Pentacles. Well, there's the stuckness. My pentacle huggers. Hey, y'all. Ooh, three of cups. There, look, stuck between two cups. To Scorpio, that's a rock and a hard place. How many? Uh, three. Okay. So we got the five of cups, the two of swords, and the emperor. Ooh. I feel like here, you guys are tired. You're tired of being like in self-protective mode or survivor mode. Yes, wanderers, my wanderers have hit the table. They're probably like four y'all in all of Scorpio land. <laughs> um, a new love offer, but you are clutched and shut down and focusing on your money it's like look alex i only want to hug pentacles look how he's hugging the pentacles i only want to hug pentacles if you ain't a pentacle i don't want to have nothing to do with you um this is somebody who is it feels like a dear friend a dear 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 friend somebody you're having a lot of fun with um i also i'm hearing somebody you're very close to Okay. I don't feel like this is a best friend though, right? I feel like this is somebody who y'all are like two peas in a pod, two, two pieces of spaghetti in a bowl. Oh, you're both still hurting from the past. So there's healing that needs to be done here. And it's almost like right now you guys are ignoring the healing. It's like, I don't want to deal with it, Alex. I just want to have some fun. I just want to enjoy my person. And that's okay, Scorpio. <laughs> I'm hearing he man. You have the power, the power of Grayskull. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I'm hearing with the Emperor. I feel like your power is echoing into the universe. Your strength, your um, prowess is uh, rippling into the universe. Another way of saying that too is your aura right now your vibrational energy is very freaking strong and powerful, okay? I also kind of feel angels are saying stop and stay, like hold that position, stay in your power, Scorpio, okay? Um, because I do kind of feel like you are laying a foundation. Now that makes sense, because angels are saying no wiggling. Remember back in the day when they used to paint portraits and stuff? Somebody literally had to sit there the whole time they were painting the portrait and you couldn't move. That's what I'm getting here. So it's almost like you're painting the portrait of some sort of stable home, family, work, relationship, environment. And the universe is like, just hold still. Like, just like, like just like that. Hold that pose. Stay in your power. You ain't trying to, th oh, angels are saying you're back ending your way into a relationship and I'm not even mad at you. So here it's almost like you do have a love interest as Pisces, right? Pisces specifically in the Venus placement in the person's chart. You do have somebody who you're interested, but right now you ain't giving them no time, no attention. It's like, listen, I'm hugging pentacles. Call me back. Okay. Three of cups says, if you don't get your ass out this house and, and drop some of your guards and have some fun, but Scorpio's like, no, because I don't want to get hurt again. And I don't even know who you're talking about because ain't nobody called me. 
I ain't got no voice messages, right? The two of swords to me says, no, I am not focusing on anything else other than what I want to focus on. Okay. And the universe is like, "Uh uh-huh. Keep that shit up, Scorpio. Just keep that shit up. Go ahead. Keep ignoring, keep ignoring, keep maintaining, keep managing yourself, keep managing your emotions, stay focused. Because before you know it, you're going to be in something incredibly stable. Now, again, for, for many of you, it could be work. It could be a relationship. You can come through school. Um, that, that four of wands represents achieving some sort of official goal, like graduation and baby shower and um, housewarming and marriage and some sort of celebratory event. Now, watch this. You're celebrating here and you're pseudo-celebrating here, right? because you're pseudo celebrating here because that's in between being disappointed and stuck. So the universe is like, "Uh uh-huh, keep doing what you're doing. Mm Mm-hmm, go ahead. You think that's making a difference, Scorpio? Okay, watch, watch what we send you. Watch what we give you. And for a lot of you, I really wanna say freaking great work because what I just heard Angel say was that we are proud of you because you're stabilizing, right? A lot of you are stabilizing financially. A lot of you are stabilizing when it comes to your worth and your value. Shit, a lot of you guys are stabilizing when it comes to dating more quality people. A lot of you guys are having fun, but you're managing your heart. You're managing your emotional intelligence. So it's like, yeah, you're, you could be out there having fun dating and, you know, flirting and getting your, your, your happy on, But guess what? You ain't letting go of yourself. You ain't like out there just freaking whipping your heart out at every person that you meet. Oh no, Scorpio, don't do that. Mm -mm. No ma'am, no sir. Um, And by default, you're, you're maintaining your power. Two, three, four, five. And this is four. Okay. Okay, they're also saying to me too, whomever it is that you're dealing with, um, you've only known this person for about two months. Let's go ahead and switch it and make it also to about money and career. I feel like whatever this situation that you were have been in denial about or laser-like focused on or not budging and staying in your power, whatever this is, you've been dealing with it for two months. Okay, May. Okay, May. I see you right here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you committed to this in May because I feel like you got your ass kicked um, by some sort of emotional situation in the month of May. So it's like from that, you, you vowed to remain focused and not let nobody knock you out of alignment and knock you off of focus. Because Scorpio's like, I got shit to get. Shit to get. Yes, you do, Scorpio. I got shit to get to. (laughs) I can't. All right. So what do we see? What do we see? What do we see? What do we see for Scorpio? Oh, Scorpio. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. A lot of you guys are saving your money. Uh, Yeah. Angels just said it's like a no spend zone, which I've never heard it put quite like that. But again, angels don't speak English. No heavenly body speaks English. Your energy does not know English. It only knows vibration. The Knight of Swords. Okay, now we're start talk, we're starting to talk about relating with people. Doesn't have to be romantic. Could be coworker and you. Could be your, you and your mom. You and your auntie. You got somebody blocked. God damn it! Card fell on the floor. Oh yes. That's the card that fell on the floor. Ace of Cups, I know that's right. I have two cards in my hand. So we have the Six of Swords and Judgment. Okay, now the story is taking shape. Now the reading is taking shape. Look at, we got the Two of Swords here on the bottom as well, but I'm gonna shuffle it out to get that last card. Oh, this is Parent Child, okay. Oh, good, Scorpio. Look, Three of Cups, Death card, Page. Oh, yeah, this is Mother Child. There's the Emperor again. Okay, again, they're all falling out of my hands. 
Yeah, this is parent child. Queen is yeah, mm hmm Cause you done cut somebody the fuck off. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's how it came out. Eight of Swords. Okay, I'm hearing somebody's trying to get back in your good graces. This feels like a family member. It feels again parent child, so you could be the parent and your child is trying to get back into your good graces. Or you are the child and your parent is trying to get back into your good graces. <laughs> Angels just said, Angels just said, either way, fuck them both. <laughs> and I feel like that's exactly what you, where you are. I'm sorry, eight of swords here. All right. Um, so we got four of pentacles and a page of cups. So somebody's going to send you a message. I'm hearing bullshit apology what I'm hearing. Four of Pentacles, you have this person blocked. This feels like snail mail, meaning they're going to write you a letter or send you a card with a letter attached to the card. Four of Pentacles is like, you have this person blocked. Angels are saying for a lot of you, it's two people you have blocked. Because here's the communication of the Knight of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Where's that communication going to? Because that person has everything blocked. Got their mind blocked. Got their heart blocked. They ain't even trying to make it to you and trying to get, trying, trying to help you get to them. Angels are also saying too, some of you guys are resting on your integrity. You're a very, you're a person who has a lot of integrity. And that's what you're resting on. Because what I'm hearing is whatever this dispute was, Scorpio, you were right, right? And here's the thing. I don't think it's a matter of being right or wrong per se, but I just feel like you're resting on your integrity. Like, listen, I didn't do nothing to you. I didn't call you with that bullshit. I didn't call you names. I didn't curse at you. This is like, okay, so I justifiably blocked your ass. Like, what's the problem? You mad? You angry? Why? Like, you know what the hell you said. That's the vibe that this four of pentacles has given me twice. Yeah, you got two people blocked. You could have that Pisces or you could have a Gemini blocked. Three of cups and six of swords because Scorpio is all about the peace of mind. Scorpio ain't doing that fuck shit. No, we not doing this back and forth arguing. You keep hanging up on me and calling. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Six of swords, you moved on and you moved away for the sake of your peace of mind. It's like, bye, Bob. Bye. Have a great weekend. Have a nice life. I'll see you never. <laughs> Five of cups and the judgment. Yeah, there it is right there. There's your declaration. I'm not putting up with this shit no more. Oh, sorry. Wrong card. Three strikes. You out, bitch. It's like, stop calling me. Stop reaching out to me. I don't want to talk to you. That's what I'm hearing. Judgment. They're wanting to resurrect this. They they miss you, Scorpio. They tired of being without you. Like, you know, but I love you. And Scorpio ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Cause again, four of pentacles sitting here twice. Four of pentacles, four of pentacles, eight of pentacles. You really worked my nerves. You knew better. You knew better to come to me with the bullshit you came to me with. But guess what? You still did it. I gotta go. I don't have time. I got pentacles to hug and clean and shine. And what I'm also hearing is that a lot of you guys are not over this. Whatever this is, whatever this is, you're still hurt by it. You're still disappointed. But angels are saying it's going to come around again because the universe is trying to heal you. Okay. So when you have this encounter with this person, Scorpio, just know that it, this situation has nothing to do with them. This has everything to do with healing you so we can free you from this Eight of Swords and you can get on with enjoying your life and your prosperity and your fun and your new boo-boo and your happiness, right? Ace of Cups and Two of Swords, yeah, you... Uh, angels just said to me, you kicked this person out of your heart. I really do feel like, again, this is parent child, right? 
And I think I said to you guys in the beginning of the reading, this is somebody that you knew and were really, really close to. But no, we're not doing that. I'm sorry. I got to I gotta keep reminding Crosswatcher. We're not doing that. So if you unjustifi unjustifiably came for Scorpio, you came at them with some just unjustifiable straight bullshit, yo, you got to sit where you at. Like you got to figure out why you are how you are and why you do what you do. Why, why would, why you did what you did? Cause Scorpio, Scorpio is like, bye, I'm, I'm going to heal. Um, like, I feel like you shut the person down, but also at the same time, you shut the emotions down as well. And I feel like, Oh shit, Robin as in Batman and Robin, the universe knows that you're still hurt and they know that you're not going to you're not going to heal from the person who caused you this disappointment. So what they're doing is they're sending in a kabubu to help reignite your heart, to help open your heart. Oh, help open your heart back up. That's so sweet. Thank you Moses and Buddha and Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um that's all the Arabic that I know. Um but <laughs> Um, yeah, look at that. The queen of swords and the emperor. Yeah. You cut this person off. Um, but angels are also saying too, this is you and your power. And angels are saying people are intimidated by you. Duh. So they're bringing somebody new in that you don't see coming. This person who's around you is healing you again, friend. Um, lover, coworker, teacher, I don't care who it is. There's somebody in your lifetime, in your life right now who is not too close to you or you don't really see them in a particular light on the low, low universally, they're helping you. They're helping you and they're helping to heal you. Oh, okay. The eight of swords and the four of wands. This is you getting on with your life. It's like, uh, uh I'm still cute. Mm -hmm. My breath don't stink, right? Like this is you really getting on with your, your life. I feel like a lot of you guys are the head of household, right? Angels are saying you could have also had somebody come stay with you and they could have been telling and gossiping about your business to other family members or whomever. Scorpio's like, okay, you gotta go, okay? And I'm just gonna return back to being cute because I don't have time. That bullshit don't go with my complexion. I'm too cute. Eight of Swords and the Four of Wands. Whose Eight of Swords is that, Angels, with the Queen of Swords? Because I feel like, you know, Queen of Swords for me is Scorpio. Um, That's your intuition and your intellect and your analysis. You are very strong right now, Scorpio. Uh, we in your eighth, ninth house? Gemini. Are we still in Gemini? I think we're still in Gemini about to go over to cancer. So your eighth house. So I feel like, um, you're on point. You are sharp as attack. Angel's also saying to me too, cause the queen of swords is intuitive. Like she's really psychic. I feel like, you know, that this person is struggling, especially mentally over whatever the situation was. Now here's the kicker Scorpio. I feel like, you know, that you are in charge of releasing them from their karma. Scorpio's like, bye, bitch. I'm going to give me some new shoes, right? As in, it doesn't mean anything to you to release this person from their karma because at the end of the day, they're the ones who initiated it, right? So you don't have to come in all Jesus-like, talk about, I forgive you, my child. You can forgive them at the shoe store and go on with your life and never talk to this person again. But... This Knight of Swords says that, yo, this person, Scorpio, um, could come, quote unquote, beating down your door. I'm also hearing for some of you guys, this person could show up. Again, you guys heard me talk about this in previous readings. Cross Watcher, I don't care if it's Jesus themselves. First off, it's too damn hot right now, especially in the South. It is currently 97 degrees. I think I just saw the devil outside, but um, it is hot as fuck. So don't just do, don't, don't drop by with Scorpio because it's too, listen, it's too hot. I can't be happy and hot at the same time. 
So if you drop by Scorpio's house, I'm just letting you know, you're going to get a big pentacle in your face. I know me personally, and I've said this before, I will literally walk by my front door as you're ringing my bell and walk right on by it and go upstairs and go live my life. Because if you don't call, if you come in unannounced, you're going to be in 97 degrees weather, which feels like 102, too damn hot, 102 damn hot, right? So cross watcher, if you're thinking about again, doing a drive by, don't do it. It's too damn hot. Don't do it. I also feel like with this Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords, this person has challenges opening up themselves to you. Like, I'm not going to say they don't love you, but I want to say they don't love you, right? That's the Two of Swords. They're in denial. They, it's almost like they want you back out of ego. And we've talked about this in previous readings, but they ain't got much more to offer you. So the universe is like, wait a minute, hold on, Scorpio, stay right there. Since this person can't bring you back love, let me send you this one. And again, let me be clear. It may not be a lover. It can be anybody who's coming in to help your heart. All right, let me pull my angel answers because I have a reading to do in like three minutes. Um, who do I have? Uh, I have Pisces. I have... Uh, Knight of Swords is Gemini. Uh, the Judgment is Aries and Scorpio. That's a Mars card. We have the Emperor there. That's a Mars card. We have the Queen of Swords. That's Libra. Libra is ruled by Venus. Okay. So yeah, you got Mars and Venus on the table. But when you look at the Emperor and the Queen of Swords, they're not the most favorable couple in the tarot. I wouldn't peg them as a couple. You know what I mean? And I feel like whomever it is that you're dealing with, this air sign, Libra specifically, or, you know, somebody with Aries in their chart, could be an Aries sun, Libra moon, right? Specifically, this could be the person you're dealing with, Aries sun, Libra moon. Could be an Aries sun only, different moon, or a different sun sign with Libra um, in the moon placement. Whomever this is, I feel like you've entertained them long enough. It's like, be gone. It's like you listen, the only reason the only the only reason why I know you in the first place is because you gave birth to me. But if you and I met on this planet in other circumstances, I probably wouldn't fuck with you. And I'm sorry, I know that sounds so harsh, but we don't all all of us don't have perfect mothers or perfect fathers or perfect parents. I'm sorry. Meditation brings answers. Forget <laughs> You can forgive them. I, I will promote and say to you, Scorpio, yeah, forgive them, right? The forgiveness is not for them. It's for you to release you, all right? If this Eight of Swords is you, um, the Five of Cups is you, go ahead and forgive them. Release them, okay? Because you got other stuff to do. You got cuteness to get to. Stop. You got you to gotta go get that fish out that cup. Mm, I just said it. Lord, Lord, Lord. And y'all know we got a, a pentacle huggers and a wanderers on the table. So yeah, for those of you guys who have been in school, at work, um, minding your business, working on your coins, working on your house, fixing up your house, home improvement, I feel like this is going to resonate with you. It almost even feels like because you're doing really good, Scorpio, now, now everybody wants to come back to you like, oh, hey, Scorpio, I heard you got a new car. I heard you got some new curtains. Fuck that. And look at the card on the bottom. Success. Yeah, somebody sees you flying high right now as your phoenix self, Scorpio. And they trying to get back into your good graces. But Scorpio's like, nah, B. I got shit to do. I got to go to the bank. I got another pentacle I got to put in the bank. I can't talk to you now. Sorry. Call me never. <laughs> All right, Scorpio boo-boo, I love you so much. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, yeah, love you. Bye.